Next, let's look at how you can customize and automate your Copper account. We'll look at how you can filter your data so you can create lists of records you need immediate access to. We'll talk about how to enhance your communications and look for ways for you to communicate more efficiently with customers and colleagues. Finally, we'll navigate Copper in different ways. We'll look at options for navigating our Chrome extension and how to navigate the Copper mobile app as well. Let's take a look at how to tailor your views, lists, and filter your data. When you start your workday, you may want to see a specific list of leads or people that you need to work with. You can filter the long list of records on any records landing page. Just click the upside down triangle icon you see in the top right corner. Once you've filtered a list, you can save it to the drop-down menu you'll see in the top left corner. You can then come back to any of the saved filtered lists that you've created. When you choose filters, you're choosing from a list of field values. Fields are what you fill out when you create or update a record. You can filter for them as long as your administrator has set it up that way. I'll demo how this all comes together. We'll start by clicking our leads page. Then I'll click the filter icon in the top right corner. Next, I'll filter by lead status so I only see new leads and filter by the owned by column so I can only see leads that I own. Then I'll save that filtered list so I can access it quickly in the future. Now I can easily open this from the drop down menu in the top left. Now let's take a moment so you can give this a try. You might have filtered lists that you always want to open first thing when you start your day. To do this, you can hover over the list and click the star icon to the right to save it as your default filter. Let's see how this works. Click the drop down and find the list that I just created and saved. Hover over the star and click it to make it my default view. Now you can give it a try. Communication is key when you're in sales. We also know that the way you sell is typically a repeatable process. There are emails you might send over and over again to different customers. So we've got some great tools to help you do that with much less effort. There may be emails that you routinely send to clients at a certain point in your workflow. To avoid the tedium of writing the same thing over and over, we equip you with email templates. With just a few clicks, you can send a pre-written email to a customer you must be synced to Gmail in order to use this feature. Each user can create personal email templates seen only by them. An administrator can create shared templates for the whole team on a professional or business license. So you might have access to some of those shared templates as well. Let's demo how to create an email template. We'll start by going to settings and then clicking email settings and templates. Now we can click on the my templates section. Then click Create Template. We'll give our template a name, give it a subject line, and then start to add our message. We can also add merge fields for a personal touch. When we're finished, click Save. Now let's look at how we send this email template. To start, we'll open a person record and then click Send Email above the activity log. When I click into the message field, I'll reveal the plus sign that I can click to add my template in. I'll choose my email template from the dropdown and then double check that the merge fields have been filled in. When I'm ready, click Send. We've seen email templates help you communicate with individual contacts quickly and effectively. But what if you need to send the same message out to a bunch of contacts at once? Our bulk send feature lets you do this. Let's see our bulk send feature in action. We'll click people, and then we can check boxes next to a few people records that have email addresses on file. Once we've selected our group, we'll click the envelope icon above the list. Then, just like email templates, we'll click the plus sign in the description field to add the email template we'd like. Then, we can click through the arrows to make sure that the merge fields are filled in correctly. When we're ready, 
click send X number of emails. Now it's your turn. Take a few minutes to try this out. Beyond reaching out to customers, you can also invite them to reach out to you with the meeting scheduler feature. Just create the meeting type in your account and then send the invite link to your customers. Let's take a look at the meeting scheduler in action. We'll click settings and then choose meeting invitation settings. Then we can scroll down to set your availability. You'll choose your overall availability. This will let the system know not to allow meetings to be scheduled outside of the start and end times. It will also look at and respect existing meetings that are on your calendar. We'll click add event type. The name is what will be hyperlinked to the customer. The duration will be the length of this particular meeting template. The location could be a link to a virtual meeting or a specific conference room in your building and the description are any directions you wanna to send to that contact when they schedule this meeting. When you're finished, click Save. Now let's send it out. We'll open a lead or a person record. Then we'll go and click Send Email above the activity log. Then, just like email templates, we'll click the plus sign in the message field. We'll click meeting and select the event that you just created. Then write the rest of your email around that meeting link. Now take a moment and give the meeting scheduler a try. If you wanna send a one-off meeting or control the date and time when you meet with a contact as opposed to letting them choose, you can schedule a Google Calendar meeting right from the records related section. This will show up on the Google calendars for both you and the contact who's receiving the meeting invite. Conversely, when you schedule a meeting on Google Calendar that includes a contact in Copper, this meeting will show up in the calendar event section of that contact's record. It's a two-way sync, so you'll see it in both the record and on your Google Calendar. Let's see this in action real quick. I'll open a person record, and as you'll learn later in the course, this is the profile of your customer or contact that you're doing business with. If you wanna schedule a meeting with them that appears on both of your Google calendars, just click Create Meeting in Google Calendar. This will prompt you to create a standard Google Calendar invite, which you're likely already familiar with. The result will be shared to your contact's Google Calendar as well as yours. Now, feel free to give it a shot. For internal communication, it's good to get familiar with at mentioning your colleagues in Copper. Just add a message when logging an activity in the activity log or creating a note on the record. To at mention someone, type the at symbol and then begin typing the name of your colleague. You should see their name pop up in a list so you can select it. When you at mention the person who is receiving that message, they will receive a notification in one of three ways. First, they'll receive one in the web app found in the top right corner of the screen. They'll also receive it via email, and this will literally arrive as an email notification. They'll also receive it in the mobile app as a push notification if this is enabled. What happens after you app mention someone depends on their notification settings. Let's see how to set your personal notification preferences. First, navigate to settings, notifications, and then just choose your preferences for how you'd like to be notified. 